Hi everybody! It is I. I want to say, I wanted to kind of give you a word of warning about being on Facebook and joining groups but when it comes to being an estranged parent because it can leave you kind of out in the dust, almost felt like you're being tossed in the garbage, kicked to the curb, and it can really cause damage to your already gentle and heartbroken soul. <laughs> so I've been going through parental estrangement for 14 years and I'm on the other side. I have a small group where I've invited people who are now currently thriving in their life despite the estrangement just to give them um, continued focus on the future and the fact that you can <laughs> have a life, uh, it's a, a, a after estrangement, you still can have a life and you still can find joy and find love, peace, happiness, etc. And I've been a member of different groups on Facebook and it can be very challenging because I think it, some in some sort of way you can remain stuck if you're the type of person who realizes I, I, I can't have a life, you can remain stuck because a lot of the posts are very, very triggering. I was a member of this group and I went to post a video today. I post my videos before I put them on YouTube to help other people and I found that I was no longer a member of the group. And what a lot of these admins do is they'll just remove people without warning. Or maybe you'll get, oh, you know, they'll slap you on the wrist or put you in a timeout like you're two years old. But it can, I think, really harm people <laughs> who have come to rely on these groups as a source of comfort, kinship, to understand that they're not alone. I, I understand there are rules in groups. But when it comes to groups like this, <laughs> you'll notice um, the main person, the admins in the group, there's one, uh, her name includes Honey and this and that. If you look at different in admins in the group, you'll notice she's an entrepreneur. Um, a lifestyle expert, author, etc. So sometimes you'll find the people who run the groups, the admins, are people that are doing it for monetary gain. I don't know necessarily if they have the best interests at heart when it comes to the members. <laughs> and also, in this group, and I'll, I'll kind of show you what had happened by accident. I was in the group, got a notification, and lo and behold, let's see if I can even find it. Um, I got added to their admin and mods only message thread. And it says at the bottom... You know, you can't message in this group because you're no longer a member. But they added, I don't even know how many people to this chat for admins. And <laughs> it was just a ton of messages that were meant to be private. And they were made public for a series of people, which was by accident. But it was uh, right here. It says if you're not a moderator please go to the general chat <laughs> so they accidentally added me and a series of other people it really was um kind of interesting in fact there's 107 chat members <laughs> and there's only five admins so they added over 100 people to this personal and private chat so i just want to say when you're in a group you have to be really, really careful because if they don't like you or you become a threat to them, they can just remove you. And to be honest with you, I'm I'm on the other side of it. So being in the group was really, 
really challenging for me because a lot of times I wanted to say enough is enough, knock it off, stop acting crazy. But if you join the group, you'll see, or if you're in the group, you'll know. <laughs> so anyways, that's all I wanted to say, and I'll be back.